Outdoors the Squatch. Welcome to a beautiful morning in Michigan. <laughs> it's chilly out there, but man, that sun kind of helps to make you forget about that. We have got dirt on the way. We actually have to head back up front and uh, meet the driver here real quick. So in the last video, I was standing in a bit of a pit or a hole. <laughs> that was it. Said I wasn't happy with it. It was still spongy. I finally dug down and got to where I want to be with that. Well, as you can see, obviously, it's not the first dirt that I brought in on this little project. I'm actually five loads into it. Four loads were expected, one load was not. Let me explain that real quick. Uh, <laughs> I, I was vetting different companies, uh, you know, trying to figure out who to hire. I called the third company, talked to a young gentleman there, a real nice guy, told him what I was after. He asked me where I was at, got my address. He quoted me. I said, okay, I'm not quite ready for it. I would call you when I was ready if I decided to hire you. Appreciate your time. Well, eight o'clock the next morning, I get a text message. And out of the blue, and it reads, hey, I think I'm out in front of your place. I've got a load of dirt for you. And I'm like, what? So I sent a message. I don't understand. Who are you? Who are you with? He explained. I thought, oh boy. So I had to go ahead and pull in, talk to him a little bit more, come to find out he's an independent contractor hired by this gravel yard. And myself, not knowing how that would pan out for him, told him to go ahead and just dump it, not square up with it, not me, but I didn't want any more dirt for that day. It was raining sideways. I mean, it was mucky. I just wasn't ready. So anyway, uh, I had to deliver the dirt, uh, 21 yards, and uh, I got the project going. So ultimately, the company I ended up hiring was the one that landed right in the middle of the three quotes. It's a local company. They do septic, strain fields, excavation work. Uh, good reputation. This is actually the second round of dirt with them, obviously. They did me right on the first one. So they're getting the business the second time around here. a lot of time uh, he doesn't have to go very far to, to load so we're gonna just get right after it here with a box blade go to town on it.
that's not good. He's spinning tires. Well, he's definitely not getting out without some help. He's pretty much high sided right where he's at. Uh, I can run up and, and throw a D ring in the draw bar and grab a chain and we could tug him out, but quite honestly, it's it's probably just as quick to dig a path into his ICC bumper and spin the tractor out, just butt the box plate up against him and, and give him a little nudge. We'll see how that goes. If that doesn't work, we get the chain. goes man and we make a mess <laughs> oh, we made a mess and we got them out that was cool wanted to sneak up here and see what he just dropped off. Huh. All right, there it is. So, I'm thinking that would be a good spot. I can work off that to take care of any low areas I have into this section right here. I'm going to drop another one up ahead here a little ways. Same deal.
that's it for today's video. You know, we brought about 90 yards of fill in. Uh, we laid half it out. I got the other half uh, kind of strategically placed along the drive. We're going to get the lamp plane out in the next video, more than likely. And we're going to need that uh, dirt down the middle of the drive. We're going to establish a bit of a crown if we can. So that's in the, in the works. Hey, if you're new to the channel, maybe your first uh, video you've seen uh, of Outdoors of the Squatch. If you liked it, I'd encourage you to watch others. Maybe subscribe. I uh, always appreciate a thumbs up from everyone, of course. I hope you're enjoying the videos. I hope you'll come around for that next one. And until then, you stay happy out there.